Look at this tiny, weeny little yabby. He's tiny. Here we go, I'm walking up this track that's got a little bit of flood water flowing over it and look what I found. The yabby there, another one over there, little bait sized yabbies. Are there any more here? <laughs> this one's swimming back up. There's another one. Not up here. The four. I better be careful where I put my foot. I don't want to stand on any. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to regret this. This is how yabbies often move from one dam to another or from the river to the lagoon. They wait until we get lots of rain and then there's just a little bit of flood water trickling across the road and then under the cover of darkness they will follow that water course. They'll walk upstream or downstream and they'll move from pond to pond and make their way to new homes. Anyway, I'll put this fella back. There you go mate, you can continue on your journey. Yabby's just walking down the road. Turtles just wind up along there. Let's see if I can grab this one. Got him. Beautiful, beautiful big big yabby. And I'm gonna fix my camera up.
there we are, I've seen a lot of small yabbies, now I've got uh, a rather large one. Not record breakingly big, but still a decent sized yabby. Continue on your way yabby, peace be with you. <laughs> This is why I say to people that trout fishing with worms after the rain is a good idea because there's worms everywhere. They've all been washed up out of the ground and they're in the water. And they're in the uh, they're in the water making their way downstream through the creeks and any fish downstream will be looking for these worms right now. Look at the size of that one. It's like a shoelace. Look at the size of this yabby, how cool is that? Big one! Thank you Gap. Just continuing on on his merry way. <laughs> They say that water brings life. Ain't that the truth? Everything is out tonight and tomorrow there'll be all kinds of birds and stuff here on this water looking for a feed.